Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys, Games, Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 1969 release by Amada Books from their Jerry Anderson Joe 90 series of paperback novels. Uh, this particular one is entitled Joe 90 in Revenge. Uh, okay, so this is the front cover and it says Jerry Anderson's Joe 90 in Revenge. And you've got the Amada paperbacks for boys and girls and the logo just above that. And at the bottom it says a story by Howard Elson, fully illustrated. Uh, and you've got the cover price at the time, back in 1969, was two and six. Okay, so that is the front cover. Let's just turn the book over and have a look at what we got on the back. Okay, so on the back, you've got an image of Joe 90, you've got Professor McLean, You've got the uh, flying car, and you've got some uh, an action scene going on there. Um, and it says, Win headquarters is broken into. Top secret files on all active secret agents are stolen, and the intruder swears revenge on the organisation. Uh, Win agents scan the world in effort to track down the enemy agent. Five Win agents are brutally murdered in the Amazon jungle. Joe 90 is sent into the deadly unexplored jungle and faces death at the hands of a madman. And there's the Joe 90 logo at the bottom of the uh, text there. Let's just have a quick look at the, the spline. So it's got Amada books on it, Joe 90 and the Revenge. It is a little bit faded and there's a little bit of wear on there. And at the bottom it's got number 254. Um, but it's still... Very good condition for a, an item that's uh, getting on for 54 years old. Um, okay, so let's open the book up and have a look inside. Okay, so I've opened the book and it's got here Joe 90, Jerry Anderson's Joe 90 in Revenge by Howard Elson. Amada Paperbacks in cooperation with Century 21 Publishing. And you've got the Amada Paperbacks for boys and girls and their logo just above that. Over here it says also available in the Amada series is Joe 90 and the Raiders, which I believe you've already done a video on. Uh, we've got ATV Oversize, Overseas Limited, 1969. It says Joe 90 in Revenge was first published in the UK in 1969 by Mayfair Books Limited, 14 St. James Place, London, SW1, and was printed in Great Britain by Love and Malcolmson Limited, Brighton Road, Red Hill, Surrey, England. And then you've got the conditions of sale. Okay, so that is the introduction. Uh, and then we've got the contents. So you've got chapter one, the intruder. Chapter two, and then there were five. Chapter three, it's up to Joe. Chapter four, secret of the Amazon. Chapter five, crash point. Six, down among the dead men. Seven, trial by fire. Eight, gods aren't invincible. Nine, river no return. And chapter 10, all's well that ends. Okay, chapter one, the intruder. It says it was a night, a cool breeze hustled across the English coast, sending a brisk shiver through the sea as waves dashed themselves against the Dorset coastline. It was a perfect night in late summer as the moon silvered in the sky. A glint of appreciation rang out as the gleam of light caught the thatched roof of a Tudor cottage. A Tudor cottage that nestled silently in the beautiful panorama of English countryside that was Culver Bay. Inside the cottage... All was still until suddenly night was cut with a sharp stacco of a telephone bell. Once, twice, three times. Then there were sounds of the cottage awakening as a disheval Professor McLean trundled downstairs to pick up the receiver. McLean here, what's all the fuss about? Do you know it's two in the morning? Sam Louver here, Mac, came the reply. I'm sorry to disturb you, but this is urgent. Can you be at headquarters in an hour? Yes, but why? McLean searched for some explanation. Can't explain, Mac. See you in an hour and bring Joe. Then there was silence. The receiver had been slotted back into place. Okay, and then the story goes on. So, but this is an illustrated book. There's illustrations in there. Uh, there's one. Not a particular good illustration, that one. But um, uh, yeah, there's another one there, Joe 90 and the Big Rat. There's, um, I think the, the illustrations are about one every three pages. And there's Joe on the wind boat. Um, and then another illustration there. Into chapter three. Um, and there's Sam Louver's car at the cottage, at McLean Cottage. 
Uh, there's the wind aircraft um, flying. Uh, then we've got Joe Knight on a parachute. I think that's where he drops into the Amazon. Yep, and chapter four is Secret of the Amazon. And there he is with a crocodile. Uh, there's him, I think he's having a, a camp in there and back on the boat or a dinghy. Um, and there he is, come ashore, and there's a bumblebee just above his head. Well, I mean, there's quite a lot of pages. I'm not going to go through every page. I don't want to bore you with just showing you pictures. But um, basically, it's a 112-page book, which is full of um, drawn illustrations to accompany the story. <clears throat> and we just read this last Parag uh, paragraph and it said and that's the whole story says Sam Lever to Shane Weston and Ian, Ian McLean the two wind agents sat facing the London commander in Ian McLean's cottage they had arrived 50 minutes earlier from Brazil to be greeted by Weston and Mac at London airport the, drove, the drive to Dorset took no time at all now they sat around a glowing heath looking tired yet happy to be home Sam had made his report and now sat back in relaxation well the world owes a lot to you Sam says Shane Weston no, it owes everything to Joe Ninety, replied Sam, in tribute to his young colleague. But Sam's words fell on deaf ears, for Joe was curled up in the large armchair fast asleep, no doubt dreaming of this beauty of the beauty of the Amazon jungle. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the paperback. Now, these paperbacks, like I say, were nineteen sixty nine, this particular one. Um, and finding these books nowadays is not particularly easy, especially in this condition, even though it's got somewhere and a few marks on it, but generally it's in very, very good condition for something that is 55 years old or getting on for 55 years old. Um, but, however, as usual, we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few copies, which are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website. We will be able to find this and many other vintage Jerry Anderson items, and many other vintage toys, games, collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody, and I know you don't want to miss this, because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products, which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for something old that has always eluded you from finding or something quirky you might just want to buy for a friend or maybe it's something from your childhood that you'd like to have again to help you recuperate those long lost memories well stay tuned keep watching because you never know the next item could be that item that you're looking for okay that is it for me on this particular item i hope you've enjoyed this very short review thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon